Vegas Finners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Well, it's been a while since my last tutorial on how to play the Women's Slots app, and there have been a couple changes since then. So today, we're going to start all over from scratch and show you how to play Win Slots in 2020. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. So the objective of Win Slots is pretty straightforward. Play lots of slots. The more slots you play, and the more win coins you bet, the more purple gems you can get. Turn those purple gems into free rooms and buffets at the famous Win Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pulling it off, though, is a more daunting task. So, let's go over everything you need to know about the game. Okay, let's start off strong and break down the main screen. The top half of the screen keeps track of your resources. The gold icon in the upper left is the amount of coins you have to bet. The red buy button lets you purchase more coins. The purple gem indicates how many gems you've earned in game. You'll turn these into rewards later on in the tutorial. The ribbon icon is your level. It directly relates to how you are rewarded as you progress through the game. The purple crown icon is your VIP level. This helps determine which rewards you're eligible to redeem with your purple gems. The gear is your settings. This controls your sound effects, has your support info, and of course, your Facebook profile. There are four more main icons to focus on. The profile icon shows your progress in-game. The inbox shows how many gifts you have and how many you can get. More on that later. Leaderboards show off how well you've played. And the piggy bank is just a bank of all the coins you've earned, but we'll talk about that more later on. Now that we know the screen, let's move on into getting started with the game. The very first thing you want to do when you start up win slots is to sign into your Facebook profile. This enables a few things. First, it allows you to save your progress and even share progress between devices, meaning you can play on your phone or your iPad without losing your gems. Also, if you need to change devices, your progress follows you. Second, it enables the ability to give gifts to other players, which is paramount in getting free chips. And finally, it allows you to actually redeem your hard-earned rewards. You'll sign in using your Facebook login information. If you don't have that, there's not much else we could do to help you out there. Once you're signed in, however, the next step is to gather coins. Coins are a means to an end in win slots. It ultimately doesn't matter how many you have when redeeming rewards. It's kind of like gas in a car, you never want to run out, but it's only going to get you from point A to point B if you have enough of it. There are currently four ways to get free chips. Number one is through the bonus. In the lower right hand corner of the screen, there's an icon that reads bonus. At regular intervals, you can click these different icons to get different bonuses. The silver chests are small bonuses and only worth a few thousand coins. The gold chests are medium bonuses worth a few thousand to a few hundred thousand coins. And the large bonuses can be worth up to a million coins. The timing on these chests varies. The silver chests reappear every 15 minutes. The gold chests every 3 hours. And most importantly, the bonus wheel every 12 hours. Collecting these bonuses consecutively will grant you a multiplier up to three times. Meaning, if you're lucky enough to hit 1 million coins on the free three times multiplier, you will be granted 3 million free coins. Number two is a new feature called Friend Gifts. Friends can offer you a bounty of coins through your inbox. You can also send a lump sum of coins back to them. Unless you're this guy. He only sends you scratchers for some reason. He's weird. While we're on the subject, the third source is scratchers. Scratchers can be obtained from friends or from completing challenges. They'll give you a random amount of chips to add to your bank and use in game. And finally, the last source of free chips is push notifications. If you enable push notifications in your phone settings for win slots, the game will occasionally reward you with a free bounty of chips. It's worth noting, however, that you can buy chips as well in this game. This comes in three flavors. The most common one is just to buy chip packages at the top of the screen. The 
they're all pretty proportionate and par for the course in slot games like this. The second flavor is the special offers. The game will often have special offers that appear after signing in, typically with the extra bonus wheels or special multipliers. The third is to use the piggy bank icon. For $5 you get whatever the piggy is packing. The bank builds up during gameplay so the more you spin, the more you can win, so to speak. And finally, if you're feeling spicy, you can purchase yourself a chip multiplier package. I suppose that's four different flavors now, isn't it? Anyway, this will change your bonus multiplier from 1, 2, or 3 to the corresponding purchase point. So a $30 multiplier will multiply those free bonus chips by 30, very easily making up for deficits if you choose to play at the premium rate. Now that you know where to get your coins, let's talk about using them. There are three distinct gameplay modes. Number one is slot mode, of course. This allows you to select any game on the board, set a bet, and spin away. You earn points in your gem meter for every spin. The more coins you bet, the faster the meter increases. But as with any slot-based game, you have to be careful with your resources or you risk burning your bankroll before you can earn any significant points. Some games will come with gimmicks, but you can usually pick your favorite game and hit the spin button. There's an auto-spin feature that allows for the game to spin by itself up to 500 times or until it's interrupted, whichever comes first. Slot Mode 2 is Battle Mode. Similar to Slot Mode, you pick your favorite game, but there's a twist. You must pay into the game at a certain bet, a million chips, 20 million chips, etc. Then you're forced to bet those coins evenly over 20 spins against another player. Winner takes all, the player with the most coins won takes the whole pot. You earn your gems before the game even starts, so there's incentive for everyone to play, but winning replenishes your stores a whole lot faster. Mode 3 is the high roller mode. It's the same as the regular slot mode, only at a quadratically higher bet. Minimum bets are often multi-million coin affairs, compared to the multiples of 1,000 or 10,000 on lower levels. Recommended for players with bankrolls in the billions. Each of these modes will earn you gems. A couple caveats to gameplay that will be important though. There are two hidden game modes within these games. The first one is a bingo bonus game. It's more of an incidental than an actual gameplay mode though. For every certain number of coins you bet, you earn a bingo ball. Once you've earned it, you can play these bingo balls in hopes of getting a bingo. If you do, then you're gifted a scratcher. If you don't, well, nothing happens and you're no worse for wear. Hidden game mode number two is the hyper bonus feature. This mode acts almost like a mini battle mode, though you're not pitted against another player. Instead, you're paying in to get free spins with additional wild symbols. These tend to make or break a bankroll, and they're also some of the fastest ways for you to get gems, assuming your bankroll can survive the highs and lows. You'll identify these features by the hyper bonus button on either side of a reel in the game. And now that you know how to play, let's talk a little bit about rewards. There are three types of one slots rewards. Number one is the buffet. These are priced at a set rate of 1200 gems per buffet and up to two coupons can be redeemed at a time. I'll have a full video explaining all the reward redemptions later on in the month, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But for now, just remember that each buffet is 1200 gems and you can only access them at VIP level one. The other two types of rewards are room rewards. Room one is the resort king room. Room two is the queen double room. The cost of these is relative to the cash cost of a room. If a room is expensive during a certain period of time, assuming it's available on the app, expect it to cost a few more gems. Simple as that. Also keep in mind, you can only hold 25,000 gems at a time. So if you ever max out, book your trip before you start playing again too hard. Calendars stretch out up to six months, but you won't be able to see these calendars unless you're at a certain VIP level. And that leads us to our next segment, VIP levels. What are they and how do you get them? Now, VIP points are a relatively new feature. This is one of the most controversial additions that the WinSlots app has devised, and they've already changed the rules on it once or twice. Here's the lowdown. So, VIP points are an additional resource that you have to earn in order to redeem your rewards. Consider them the key to get into the comps kingdom, and the gems are your currency in said kingdom of comps. 
So once you get your gems to spend, you'll need to get into the store to spend them. Now how do you earn VIP points? Well, there are three distinct ways. The first way to earn a VIP point is by collecting your bonuses. We discussed these earlier in the video, but in addition to the free chips, you also get VIP points to add to your pool. As you know, gold chests pay out coins and VIP points every 3 hours, whereas wheel spins offer VIP points every 12 hours along with their coin bounty. The second way is to complete scratcher quests. Scratcher quests are found on the main screen dead center in the middle. They'll have about 4-6 to six challenges for you to complete, each yielding a scratcher. Once you've earned and redeemed all scratchers in a challenge, you're rewarded with a bonus scratcher and a VIP points to boot. Gold scratcher quests usually happen 5 times daily, and platinum scratcher events happen once daily. These are your strongest ways to earn VIP points. The third way, and ultimately easiest, is just to buy them. You get 100 VIP points for every US dollar you spend. You can buy chips, multipliers, or package deals. They all offer VIP. There are six distinct levels of VIP to achieve. VIP zero is just that. It's where you start at. You won't need anything to maintain this level, and there are no benefits to be concerned about. You will, however, need to earn 2,500 VIP points in 90 days from the start of your cycle in order to advance to VIP number one. VIP one is the most basic level you need to earn to redeem your rewards. To maintain this level, you'll need to earn 2,500 points in a rolling 90-day period. Benefits at this level include the lovely win buffet rewards, 1,200 gems apiece, limit 2 per month. And to advance to VIP level 2, you'll need to step it up to a full 10,000 points. VIP 2 is probably the bread and butter level for most players. To maintain this level, you need to earn 10,000 points in those 90 days. Benefits include not only the buffet rewards, but also the ability to book free stays at the win. Your buffet benefit increases to 4 buffets per month as well. To advance to level 3, however, you'll need to earn 20,000 VIP points in 90 days. VIP 3 is a much coveted spot in the community. To maintain this lofty level, you'll need to take on the task of earning 20,000 VIP points in 90 days. Your reward will be that you get 6 buffet redemptions per month and the ability to book rooms at a 15% discount on your gem rates, meaning free just got cheaper. To advance to VIP 4, you'll need a whopping 40,000 points. VIP 4 is very much the same as VIP 3, 40,000 points to maintain, 8 buffet redemptions per month maximum, but 20% off of the gem cost to book rooms. And if you're feeling ambitious, take on level 5. VIP 5 is king of the hill. You get buffets, up to 10 redemptions if you can afford the gems. Which you may be able to, given that you get a full 25% off the gem rates for rooms. 75,000 points to maintain this level? Enough said. Now, how possible is it for you to earn enough points to book rooms and buffets by earning these VIPs? Well, it depends on your level of commitment literally and figuratively. We found a table of how many points you have to earn based on an action relative to your VIP level. I have a look at the chart here. The max daily denotes how many VIPs you can earn in a day without buying chips, meaning that technically you don't actually have to buy any chips in one slots to achieve new levels. But there's an issue with this. These are max dailies, meaning that we're assuming a player is awake 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for 90 days straight to be able to advance from level to level. So what's a realistic schedule look like, and more importantly, how far can it get you? Well, I've modified my old VIP formula from an older video to get a brand new Aces winning formula. So here are a few assumptions. This formula assumes that you're up for three of the gold scratcher events per day. It also assumes that you'll get the platinum bonus event no problem, and that you get six out of the eight gold chests. Also, that you get both bonus wheels. So the formula looks like this. Meaning you can't actually advance to another level for free. So sadly, the winning formula is more of a give it the old college try formula. Veteran players shouldn't have any problem maintaining their current levels, but gaining another one will be troublesome. Now that you're acquainted with the game and all of its features, here are a few strategies to consider for beginning players. Strategy 1, bet low and long. 
Early on, you won't have the bankroll to keep up with big dogs in the tournaments. You'll need to collect your bonuses early and often. Before you play, build your chip stack up to 20 million, and stop playing if you drop below 10 million. The multiplier on the bonuses will help you out quite a bit, especially on the gold chests. Stick with the level 1 bets until you have at least a bankroll of 30 million chips, and don't consider level 3 bets until you're in the 200 million chip range. You can complete most scratcher challenges at this level. Strategy 2, Battle Sniping There's a certain technique in battle mode that's kinda like wind sniping, but it's effective. Your goal is to play a game like Royal Romance that has a meter on the side. The meter will slowly build up over time and offer a bonus chip bounty once it's reached. The game also remembers where your meter is, so filling it up is a great way to steal games and keep your win percentage higher. And of course, grind those scratchers. Early on, most scratchers can be completed on low-level bets. Some of the more intense ones, like winning a 9-figure bounty, usually can be completed on low bankrolls, but with time, you'll be able to do that. And that's all the time we have for today's video, Spinners and Sharks. And really, it's more than enough for your average win slots player to get started. If you enjoyed today's video and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully this will be a sufficient guide to at least get a new win slots player started, or get a returning player back into the swing of things. So until next time then, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning. Viva, Ace of Vegas.